Hi, and Karen, we could hear it outside our office, and this is just the beginning yeah. of what's coming. That's nothing. Yeah. A little bit of wind, that's <laughs> nothing. Wait, wait till you see what happens here in the next uh, 24 hours, Kevin, right? Yeah, the, today was a nice warm spring breeze, as I'd like to call it. Tomorrow night into Friday morning, those winds are going to be a little more significant and really whipping around as we head into Thursday night and Friday. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a weather impact day tomorrow, first with the rain arriving, followed by the potential for maybe a few storms tomorrow evening before midnight, and then followed by the potential for some very strong wind gusts, which could get close to 60 miles per hour north of the Ohio River that have nothing to do with severe weather tomorrow night and before the sun comes up on Friday morning. So in the meanwhile, let's enjoy this beautiful spring evening with temperatures staying in the 60s through at least 10 or 11 o'clock and by morning we will slip down into the mid 50s should be quite a comfortable evening and night for us. High pressure is in charge as we were thinking the past couple of days, just a few showers late last night, early this morning, but those quickly got out of here and we were able to enjoy a beautiful afternoon. In fact, it continues as we speak right now. Look at that. Lots of sunshine still in the low 70s at 73 degrees. There's that breeze out of the southwest. Those winds will begin to subside once the sun goes down tonight. Temperatures between 70 and 75 area wide right now. I mean, check this out. 75 in Hamilton, Springboro 73, Mason Loveland at 74. You're at 75 in Falmouth. You're in the low 70s over there in southeast Indiana, too. So it's a quiet night tonight underneath mostly clear skies. If you want some sun, you need to get out there early tomorrow because clouds will move in pretty quickly and it looks like probably by late morning, early afternoon, we're talking rain across the tri state. We'll keep that rain going into the afternoon, probably get a little bit of a lull during the evening tomorrow after five or six, and then we'll keep an eye out for the potential of maybe some stronger storms trying to develop and scoot through here, but somewhere between about nine and midnight right now would appear to be the window in which we could see Again, emphasis and asterisks on the word could, could see some stronger storms before much stronger winds wrap in here. Now, the tri-state's going to find itself on the northern fringe of a much larger outbreak of severe weather down in the Tennessee and Mississippi River Valleys. While we are in a slight risk, it is a conditional threat. Here's the reason why. We have several ingredients on the table that support severe weather, but one of the key ingredients is likely to be lacking, and that is instability. We'll have plenty of wind shear or turning motion in the atmosphere, but that doesn't mean much if you can't get storms to go up. And that's what's going to be the question. If we get storms going, then we'll have some trouble on our hands. The other story that has nothing to do with stormy weather, strong winds. We could get wind gusts close to 60 in our northern communities, Franklin, Fayette, Union counties in southeast Indiana, and then Butler, Clinton, Warren in southwest Ohio could get gusts to 60. That's after any storms and rest of us probably dealing with some 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. So we could have additional issues just related to the strong winds away from any storms, and this would be overnight Thursday and into Friday morning. So a comfortable night tonight and quiet 52 and then for tomorrow again rain by late morning nighttime storms potentially with strong winds likely overnight. Here's a look at your day planner. There's your rain late morning through the afternoon hours. Your seven day forecast shaping up like this. Things do get quiet on Friday and then it looks like as we get into the weekend Saturday's nice. Some showers in here Saturday night before the cool down on Sunday. All right, Kevin, fill in some holes trying to attack.